poke and range at your disposal. So Vitality have gotten themselves a slightly stronger draft compared to last game and Excel. The hardest part for them is if they do want to force a fight, it's going to be difficult for them. They're going to leverage their mobility. The difference at 14, it's very impressive for Vitality, but it is a little deceptive for Excel because uh, their early game against G2 very much hurt their early game yeah. performance. Um, but typically, XL have actually been very dominant in the early game. We even saw that in the first time that these two Around the, that area. So it's a, a strong lead for him regularly, alongside that gold lead at 14, and with very low jungle proximity. 10th in the league out of our mid lane. There's Ghost used by Afari up towards the top side. He looks to chase down Finn, who will flash. The work still going to connect. Marcoon on his way up, though. Stun comes out. I think I'll try and turn this one around. Afari dodging in, dodging out. Haru coming in as well with the cycle one for one so far. Nuke Duck coming in from the side as well. Does it have that ultimate? Remember, Perks does not have his. And now Haru, the smite won't save you now. It's a double for Marcoon. A big overcommitment there from Alfari means that Marcoon and Nuke Duck are able to. The reason turn why I like that is because sieging against an Azir can be very difficult. Yep. He has a lot of wave clear. His as well. Doesn't quite land the route. And obviously, Nuke Duck not knowing where Haru was, knowing that his jungler was on the top side, didn't want to over invest into that. And. Alfari's kind of on his lonesome here. TP not available either. There's the stun. Alfari nowhere to go. Living battery enough. Alfari taking out Patrick on the ball. Very clean. And, uh, although they did falter between the 14 and the 16 minute mark. Exile here looking but a little bit more coordinated. So Patrick arriving again. Oh. Like Look for Kazi here, no devour, remember the chase is on, final chapter coming out, Patrick still on the chase, one more order would be enough, can't quite land it, the dodges to the side, means that Patrick now has to deal with Haru as well, Patrick jumps across the wall, where's Mickey end up on the other side, the Abyss of Void is trying to chase him down, the zoomies might no be enough, no Haru, yeah but Lebov has, has a tongue, and that cat needs a cleaning, as uh, Haru will flash for it, <laughs> yeah he was out of mana, he had to flash for it, so now Farmy still pushing in the top lane, no TP, so Vitality kind of just giving this one up. We will be on Infernal Soul point for XL. 2,000 gold ahead now, Perks slowed, Everfrost just wide, Nuke Duck dashing forward, there's the charm as well, the final chapter coming out, Perks will flash. Lobov and Kazi trying to fight from the bottom side, but the Spectre Mole will land the stun onto the Tom Kench. Rift Herald going to charge in the bottom side, Finn still pushing in the mid, Kazi, no flash, devoured over the wall, the charm though, once again lands, but the Tom Kench isn't really the target you want for that though, XL for XL. Okay, that was Efficiency City for XL, that was very well played as Lebron now engages. Mickey jumps off, jumps back. Patrick's able to escape for the moment. Alfari does have the ghost. And Patrick shut down. Dawning Shadow alongside Lebrov will take the kill. Marcoon's now going to try and escape as Vitality still look to collapse. Haru, no cyclone for him. Marcoon trying to turn it around, but he knows it's in the 2v4, right? Finn coming in with the Megan Harvest. Nuta continues Excel to push in the this. top lane. TP coming in. Excel can win it, as you say. Heartbreaker over the wall by Marcoon as he looks to escape. Finn goes into Mega. Nuta continues to harass the top lane tower down to half. Can Marcoon escape? Perks. Has the shuffle, has the slide, puts Mickey back, and now Mickey can't jump back in. Marcoon, nowhere for him to go, no heartbreaker for him either. Tries to trade. And one before the flash away, Tower falls towards the top side of the map. And now Lebrov has a good flank position, Abyssal Voyage forward. Marcoon with the fancy feet, he can't dodge the lash of Lebrov's tongue. In the end, three kills go over two. Toward, towards the red, XL. Now going to step forward and try and get vision of their own. First sweeper used by Marcoon. Surprised that Mickey's sitting on Patrick right now. Could jump over to Marcoon. That ward deep, though, not spotted out. Patrick looking to go in here. Kazi does have the flash, has the devourer as well. The final chapter coming out. They're trying to find a pick before Perks can join it. But the final chapter isn't enough. Haru onto the back line with the Cyclone. Exhausted. Now Fabi trying to get in as well with the needlework. Marcoon going back with a heartbreaker. Perks, you can slide, you can dive into the back line. Haru going for it. No Megan now available. Lebrov down first. Second up is Finn. Haru called out once again. And Perks sliding away instead of sliding in. Vitality now on the retreat as Marcoon continues his advance. Nuke Duck diving over the wall. Alfari next to fall. And XL the charms keep landing and the fights keep winning for XL. An ace for XL. They only lose one member and it was a disjointed fight for Vitality. You can see the damage difference. It felt like Vitality never really had an opportunity to get involved. This will be the soul for XL. And it this is XL's well. game to lose. XL are just playing the map so well right now. They're not getting baited into Vitality just grouping up and trying to force something. Instead, Patrick's they're just going in. That's going to be a lot of damage from the lightning crash. Patrick building up the stacks. Final chapter coming out as Patrick looks for the damage. Haru trying to turn it back around with the cycle of the Jordan Shadow. Patrick's dead. Excel overextended. You can play the map well, but if you overstep one inch, by
Vitality will pounce. Two quick kills to them, three make it, as now they turn their eyes towards the Baron. It was a much needed fight for Vitality as they're able to shut down three members of XL and crucially get that kill onto Patrick. Now, only two members alive as Vitality look to bounce back in this game. Been only halfway towards Mega as well. Nuke Dug with a charm. Hits onto Haru. There's so much damage. Nuke Dug needs, needs to get away with the Spear Rush. Mega going in. Finn looking for it. The Nar against the wall could be big. Haru, three man stun, but you just can't get the damage onto the Monkey King. Wukong able to survive. Nuke Dug Spear Rush, one left. There's honey fruit for him as well, but I think Vitality have stymied him, have staved him off. The Baron secured now for Vitality. Wow, the ultimate look. But that does separate them for the team for the moment. Vitality might look just to rush down the Baron, while they, uh, the Elder Dragon, while they can. Patrick going in here, though. Nuke Dug trying to get forward, finding projectile out. Patrick putting some damage down. Finn building up towards the Mega Nut. Alfari at half. Nuke Dug goes in. There's the charm. There's the Everfrost. Still watching with perks. Tries to save himself a little bit of time. Tries to save his team. A chance in this fight. The Cyclone from Haru onto the backline. Like a crash coming out from Patrick, but Haru's already killed off Patrick. And now Vitality can pounce. Vitality can turn. And Exile have to call the alarm to retreat. A good charm once again by Nuke Dug, but they don't have the consistent damage to work their way true vitality. Wow, so Patrick gets isolated and typically when he's playing on the Zeri, he'll run for the shield bow. Deciding to go for the Kraken Slayer and having more damage means that he's way more susceptible to getting killed by Haru and he's able to find that kill. Flashing from Nuke Duck, isn't able to find perks. Finn now rejoins the fray. Finn has no Mega and his bar is only halfway full. Marcoon looking to get in. The Abyssal Void used by LeBrock to keep him at bay. Finn trying to build this up, but the Leandris is ticking, ticking, ticking on him. Nuke Duck no Spirit Rush for another four seconds. It's bound to be off cooldown. Can he find a way in? Kazi with the long range. LeBrock the first target, but the Elder's going low. Nuke Duck dives in. It's secured, but can Vitality even win the fight? They get one, but two of them have already fallen. Finn with a great now away. Mickey trying to cut this one back because Nuka's going to try and do the same. Patrick is back up. Vitality get the Elder oh, Dragon. I can steal this. Uh, Vitality have spotted that that has been started, and it's going pretty fast. Nuke Duck is still there. The TP has come out. It's XL. TP. Perks has to find something here, otherwise that TP's burned for Nor. The flash in for the dive away. Perks pops the stopwatch. XL, you want to disengage this as New Duck now looks for the TP. He's in. Ooh. A great Nar pulls them back. New Duck looks for the backline, and Kazi is assassinated by the duck. Perks has no stopwatch to stop his death either. Marcoon gets out. Vitality get demolished as they look for the engage. But XL are not willing to lose today. A flawless team fight from XL and a massive miss play from Perks. He tries to make the hero moment happen. He tries to find that three-man Sharima shuffle, but he falls short. He leaves Vitality exposed, and XL will make their way to winning this game. Looking for a 3-1 start to the split. It took them about two hours, but in the end, XL are able to clean it up with a demolition of Vitality. It took us a while, but we got there in the end. XL ending the game on a colossal team fight. The flank from Nuke Duck, the stalling from the rest of XL. But really, that whole fight started because it was Perks going for the engage. Yep. He saw the opportunity to find that three man shuffle, and he did not find it. XL immediately pounced on that opportunity. It was close, though. It, it was, was very uh, close. A matter of a single dash. Perks look for it, couldn't quite find it. Obviously, credit to XL, credit to Patrick as well for how he played that final fight. All of them stepped up once again. A difficult one for Vitality to bear, I'm sure. XL continued their winning ways, though. Three and one now, sitting near the top of the table.